far as the Georgia Tech game goes, just to, when y'all decided to, to move the game up in classes or in session, how why was that such a big deal for both? I think just for the students. I think so that it, that it hits both uh, uh, both school students. I think that was the biggest reason. Coach, before you got here to Georgia, what did you know about the Georgia Georgia Tech rivalry? What have you learned about it in your couple of years being here? Uh, I didn't know a lot about it. I mean, I would follow it like I would follow other rivalries, mm -hmm. and and uh, but uh, I think it's really important. I think last year getting a dose of it inside of. Uh, of Atlanta inside of their arena was really good for us and really good for me to get a feel for how important it is to people. And I just think it's one of those deals that no matter where you're at your season, no matter where you're at in your program, no matter where you're at in your record, it doesn't matter when that game comes. And I think that's really important. I think that's what makes it such a good rivalry game. You just talked about recruiting. What was it? What would it mean to beat Tech and show that you are potentially the best we team just, in the state? We just we want to win every game we play, and that that certainly we want to win that one. But, but uh, recruiting is a 24-hour, is a seven-day-a-week situation. And uh, it's, it never comes down as much to one or two games. It comes down to the development of your program and what do you do with the players in it. But with that being said, Georgia Tech is obviously a game much like them. We want to win the game just like we want to win every game. What's your early impressions of them in the first couple of games? Then? Really fast, much improved. Uh, probably the best team. And I, I mean, I don't, I'm not putting words in his mouth, but probably the best team I've seen that he has there. Very deep. Uh, they shoot the ball so much better than they did a year ago. Uh, DeVoe has improved tremendously. He's shooting 75% from three already. Um, no question the addition of Bubba Parra makes a difference for them. Jose Alvarado is playing with really, really good maturity. Uh, and like I said, they're deep. They can do a lot of different things. They can play different ways, and they can keep the speed of the game going. And I think they do a really good job defensively. They do a tremendous job with their ball screen defense. They're getting back in transition well. They've got length, so they can mix man and zone, which they do. They're getting very good movement without the ball. I know cutting is a huge part of their game, and, and when you've got the ability to space and they can back up even more than they did a year ago with their range, that makes the cutting that much more dangerous. Ant said that uh, he went into his last game wanting to share the ball and wanting to get a lot of assists if possible, and obviously you guys did what you did in that game. Is that what you want from him? or uh, He needs to come in every day with an attack mentality, and, and we talked about that the other day. That That's so important. that. Um, you got to take what the defense gives you. It's, but sometimes when you're talented like that, you've got to attack a little bit more. And um, he's got a great mindset. There was nobody happier on the floor than he was the other night. There's no doubt about that. There, he's got great joy playing with his teammates. But we need him to be on the attack. And a big thing for us the other night was the ball touching the paint and making sure that it was getting inside the paint. And, and not necessarily to score it in the paint, but make sure that it was getting in the paint so that if we didn't score in the paint, we could get it kicked out and we'd create some help. So he did a good job of that. But we're a team that's got to be on the attack. We've got to get him more catch and shoot opportunities. Uh, we've got to keep moving him around offensively. I thought he did a good job defensively the other night. But uh, we're in a position where every game you come in, we don't want to settle for shots. We don't want to force shots. But we want to attack and we want to put pressure on the defense, put pressure on the rim. And the only way to do that is to come in with a real strong attack mentality. More of a general question, but what, how has getting Anthony changed the sort of perception of the program? I know that's what you talked about when you signed him, and you, it's all about players and having great players like that. What have you just noticed? Uh, what do you think it's kind of sent a signal of which all of which? Oh, I think I think uh, I think in uh, I think the outside world would be a better gauge of that than me because I'm right in the middle of it every day. But there's no question; it's a huge thing. I think um, in our era of time here, it made being a Georgia cool, right? And we still have some, we still, there's no question, there's still uh, some situations in state where, where they don't see that yet, or uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the in thing to do yet, or, you know, those type of things. So you deal with that. I went through that at Indiana, my second year at Indiana, and we ended up signing Victor Aladipo and Will Sheehy. And all those guys do is, is win Big Ten championships and go to Sweet 16s and, you know, all that type of stuff. So you don't worry about that as much. But when you have an Anthony Edwards that comes in like that, uh, and, and he's willing to cast his lot with you as a coach and with your program, with your university. That says a lot. And then there's really, it just puts you in a, in a spot where you say, okay, this is what we're trying to do. We're really, really serious about what we're trying to do. He's really serious about where he's trying to go and what he's trying to get accomplished. Then we're able to keep the best player in the state at home. And so that, the down the road uh, value of this is the institutional memory that comes from this. And that's what you want young people to understand too, that the institutional memory that will come long after you're gone, if you come in here, you do it right, you represent the school the right way, it can, it can pay off for decades.
right? It, it, it has in other sports, it has here. But, but this is our time now, this is our era, and we've gotta be able to make it happen here with us as well. So I think that's some of what it says. But it also says that he's really, really serious about player development. And he's really serious about getting better because that's what the cornerstone of this program has got to be and we want it to be. Two more questions. Both Anthony and Tyree talked about the young guys being able to mesh early. What have you seen that's impressed you about that group? Uh, they, they get along real well. I think they're still going through um, th that it's really, really about the team. I think it's a hard thing to really understand the level of urgency that you have to have. I said this the other night after the game. I mean, there's a lot of things in the game that you can get away with it, you can fake. You can fake hustle here and there, you know. But you can't fake urgency on the defensive end. You can't fake it on the defensive or offensive glass. You can't fake it on running the floor. You really can't fake it moving without the ball because you can't just cut and stand or cut or stand, you know, with no purpose. Whether you're standing there waiting for the ball, whether you're cutting without the ball, there's got to be tremendous purpose. And so I think the young guys, they're learning more and more about that all the time. But the, but the happiness for one another, the way that they get along this early in the season, that gives us a chance to keep building chemistry, right? You don't have chemistry three games in. I mean, it, it's, it's ongoing. Chemistry takes time, right? It takes time, and it gets tested when real adversity comes. And then it gets tested again when adversity comes. I mean, and that's just the stuff that you have to go through. But uh, I do like their attitudes. I like the way they work. I like the way they spend extra time at this. And, and it seems like they're on the building a lot. You, is it unusual for a guy to come back out and shoot after a game like Anthony? Uh, no, we've had others. Uh, yeah, you know, I just think it's, it's uh, I'm glad we got the availability for it, right? It's, uh, <laughs> no, I've had guys going back to Marquette that might miss a free throw that come back out and shoot free throws after a game. Um, just says a lot about who he is, right? And um, that, I think that's important. I mean, it's a very serious-minded 18-year-old. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, See you later. Man.